Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, static pressure, dynamic pressure, dynamic loaded pressure. Um, once we've performed our preliminary inspections, under hood inspection, anything visual that may affect the operation of the AC system, um, in car inspection, make sure the dash controls, climate control head works as it should, um, all of the functions, if it's electronic climate control, powers up, um, all of the in car components that we can test and verify just from uh, standard operation. Um, we install our pressure gauges and the first readings we're going to look for are going to be our static readings and our static pressure readings are going to tell us if there's pressure in the system and what we compare our pressures to is our ambient temperature. For example, it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now and if we look at our static readings on our manifold set we can see that our low side reading is at about 70 PSI and our high side reading is roughly 70 PSI. And our pressures in the system should mirror close to what our ambient temperature is. What this tells us is that there's pressure in the system, enough pressure where I can crank the vehicle up, I can run the vehicle, and I want to perform my dynamic test and my dynamic loaded test. Um, the pressures that we're looking at right now does not tell us that the system is sufficiently charged. Again, we need to crank it, run it, we need to perform our dynamic test and perform our dynamic loaded test. But what this does tell us is that the system is capable of holding system pressure. If there's a leak, it's not a large leak, it's a very small leak if a leak exists. So let's crank it up, let's look at our dynamic pressures and then we will accelerate the vehicle, we will increase engine RPM roughly 15, 1800 to 2000 RPM to try and simulate road condition for our dynamic loaded pressure test. Let's crank the vehicle up and look at our dynamic test. So we can see, just sitting here idling, Dynamic pressures, our low side gauge is about 40 PSI, uh, about 35 PSI, it's coming down a little bit, stabilizing. Our high side pressure reading is roughly about 180 PSI, it's stabilized. So right now, sitting here with the vehicle idling, no load, we're hanging out roughly about 32, 35 PSI on the low side roughly about 180, 185 PSI on the high side of the system. Now I'm simply going to reach over, I'm going to accelerate the vehicle, which is going to be our loaded dynamic test. We'll watch the gauges as I increase engine RPM, we should see the low side gauge come down some, we should see the high side gauge increase some. Loaded dynamic test. Did we see where the low side gauge increased, the high side gauge dropped? That's the point where our air conditioned compressor cycled. The low pressure switch shut the compressor off. The in cabin temperature got to the point where the temperature and the pressure were closely related to one another. The pressure switch did its job. It shut the compressor off to keep the evaporator core from freezing. 